ممكن نتعرف عليه وعلى اسمه وعلى جنسيته و... Can you introduce yourself, your name and your country? Of course, my name is Sebastian Moncayo and I am from Ecuador. Yes, I have been on board Logos Hope since September 2019. So what are the majors or the, um, the, the aims that makes you a volunteer on this ship? Well, Logos Hope shares knowledge, help and hope. And when I first found out about the ship, it was because the ship visited my city in Ecuador. And I really saw an international community and I was very interested in it. And that's when it all started. A year later, I joined as a volunteer. How many countries did the Logos Hope visit? Ever since I joined, which is September 2019, around 18 or 19 countries. But in its whole history, that we've been sailing since 2009, if I'm not mistaken, it's over 70 countries now. How many volunteers on board and what are their nationalities? We are 350 volunteers from almost 60 different countries. What's your first impression in Port Said when you visit her uh, for the second time and what, what's your opinion about the youth, the young people in, in Port Said? Yeah. Well, for me, I, it's my first time in Egypt and I have been surprised with how welcoming and hospitable people of Port Said are. I have enjoyed the welcome to Egypt that I always get from visitors. I think you have a beautiful ocean, beautiful beach here. Uh, the food, the tahimi, tamiya. <laughs> it's just like the food is delicious and it's uh, overall a, a great experience. And with the youth that we have connected, the youth that have visited the ship and that we have had uh, nice conversations in the cafeteria, they are really eager to to practice their English and also to get to know people from other countries. This is the first time in Port Said, not the second time. This is the first time in Egypt. This is a big deal in Egypt. And the second thing is that we are very happy with the Egyptian food and the food. And it was very nice to meet them, especially the young people who were speaking with them in English. It was very happy that they were trying to learn the language with them. Which is your favorite food in Egypt? The full excellent and tameya with bread <laughs> like this. No more. Yes, that's that's all I love. You didn't yeah. eat molokhia? Yes. No, not yet. <laughs> oh. oh, and shak shakari? Shak shuka? Kosheri. Uh, kosheri, the one that has all the carbo the carbs <laughs> together. Yes. Uh, how many famous people did they visit uh, the ship? Like those who uh, win uh, prize nobles, something like this. Well, on, I know that in, uh, this last year, in 2022, in Albania, we received one nominee of a prize novel of the peace. He's a, a writer, an Albanian author. I don't remember his name, but we usually get the honor and the privilege of hosting uh, political figures, for example, here in Port Said, we received the visit of the governor, the vice governor, uh, different ministers have been here, and we feel very honored and welcomed by them as well. أول مرة كان في ألبانيا كان في كاتب حصل على جائزة نوبل مش فاكر الاسم بالضبط بالنسبة لبور سعيد بقى هنا وكل مكان بيروحوه بيطبعا المحافظ بيكون موجود مجموعة من الوزراء What are the resources that you get your books from and especially from Egypt where did you get your books? Yeah, our books are mainly shipped to us by containers from the United States and also the United Kingdom uh, the publishers, they know what we do, that we share knowledge, help and hope, that the books that we sell are highly discounted and they also consider that and they also give us very good discounts so that we can also sell uh, discounted books. The books that we have here in Arabic uh, for the Egyptian audience, they were brought uh, from Lebanon because when the ship was in Lebanon, they acquired the books in Arabic and then they shipped them here as well. مجموعة الكتب اللي بتجيلهم يا إما من الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية يا إما من إنجلترا وبيكون الرعاة أو الكتاب يعني بيحاولوا إن هم يديهم ديسكاونت تخفيضات كويسة للكتب اللي بيجيبوها لكن بالنسبة للكتب اللي جاية معاهم هنا دي جاية من لبنان.
جابوها معاهم وهم جايين لان كان اخر مكان ليهم لبنان يزوروه وجابوها وهم جايين. Did they didn't contact any culture place here in uh, in Egypt? Actually, we are in contact with the Mishkat Noor Foundation. Mishkat Noor, is that how you pronounce it? Mishkat, yeah. And well, they uh, I are they are amazing. They have helped us a lot. They have been very involved in our visit, trying to bring up uh, to us like to let us know and get to know more about the culture here in Port Said they have sent us for one of the events that we hosted on board we had a group of dancers and a group of singers uh, we were invited our last off day to a tour around Port Said to see the salt mountains to visit the obelisk the Miser Plaza the ferial garden the the places that Port Said has to offer so that's that's what what we have seen thanks to Miss no Dr. Noor. Dr. Noor from the Mishkat Noor, he was the most important person in the world. He gave them a lot of money and money. And he also took them in a trip on the day of the day. They went to the beach, went to the sea, went to the sea, and they all gave them all the time. Are there any Egyptian volunteers on board? Uh, yes, we do have three or four, if I'm not mistaken, that have been sailing with us. But then in every port that the Logos Hope goes, uh, we receive we call them port volunteers or port helpers so while the ship is here in Port Said they are coming and they help us with the translation they help us to communicate with those that maybe are struggling a bit with communicating in English because most of our crew members unfortunately they do not speak Arabic المجموعة حوالي ثلاثة أو أربعة اللي بيتكلموا عربي ودول بيساعدوهم لما بيجوا كل مينا إن هم يعرفوا يتكلموا عربي ويترجموا لهم أي حاجة تانية بالإنجلش. How they volunteering to the ship? It, it's a, actually a very good question because there's two main requirements. One is to be above 18 years old and the other one is to have a medium level of English because all regarding safety and security is done in English. And everybody goes through an interview because many of the people that apply to be a volunteer on board Logos Hope, they think this is a cruise ship. So they think we have a swimming pool and we're all relaxing and having fun. But actually everybody on board works six days a week. المفروض ان هم بيبقوا طالعين عارفين ان هم هيشتغلوا كتير جدا ان هم بيشتغلوا ست ايام في الاسبوع مش طالعين على انها رحله بحريه وبيستمتعوا بالسباحه وكده لا هم عندهم شغل وتطوع. For, for, for specifics in how Egyptians can apply to become volunteers they can visit our main website which is gbaships.org because then they would have the exact requirements that are asked for Egyptians because for example me as an Ecuadorian I had to do a communication school where we work I was kind of told or my English got to improve and then I also got more understanding on cultural differences and how maybe the way that I do things in Ecuador as a South American are different than how Europeans or Asians or Africans do it so it's just to prepare the volunteer to have a smoother transition into the life on board. المفروض ان هم بيقدموا من خلال الموقع بتاعهم اونلاين وكل دوله ليها طريقه للتقديم فيها، يعني مثلا كل واحد ليه عاداته وتقاليده والافكار بتاعته مختلفه عن هو الاكوادور، المفروض ان هو بيبقى ليه مستوى او ليفل معين في الانجلش بيكون كويس فيه غيره ما بيكونش كده، فهو بس بيضمن لهم ان هم قادرين ان هم يدخلوا يجتمعوا كلهم مع بعض بطريقه سهله. What are the obstacles you are facing during your voyages? Well, usually it's the sadness of saying goodbye to the last people that we have met. Uh, that, that would honestly say that's one of the most difficult challenges. But also, ever since COVID finished, uh, we used to have more people on board. We were more than 400. So when we had lots of people visiting the ship, it was easier to, to organize, to make lines, to help. But now that the book fair team has less individuals, it gets a bit more challenging because people need to work extra hours or to bring people from other departments and help out. Because in the end, what we really want is to give a good experience to all the visitors here in Port Said and Egypt. <laughs> كان العدد قليل وبعد كده بدات الاعداد تزيد اكتر من 400 بني ادم وبداوا كلهم مهتمين جدا ان هم يشتغلوا ويك 
بيعملوا شغل و... وده بيساعدهم على انهم بيساعدوا الناس اللي بيروحوا لهم في كل مين How can you finance the floating library? How did how, finance? Sorry. Well, it's a very good question because it is very expensive to run a ship. The fuel is very expensive to get all the visas, the permissions, the food. Uh, it's all expensive. So 30% or one third of the income of the vessel comes through the sales of the book fair. Another third comes through the volunteers because actually we do not only not get paid but we pay to be here. We pay because of course we get our cabins, shower, all our basic needs are covered. We have breakfast, lunch and dinner, shampoo, soap, deodorant. However, okay, and that's the other third. And then the last third comes through sponsors around the world. There are companies that really believe in what we do. They truly believe in the sharing knowledge, help and hope and they have seen that there is an impact every time that the vessel visits a port. And really it's thank God that the funding continues and we can still be operating. نقصد ان التلت الدخل اللي عندهم بيجي من بوع من بيع الكتب التلت التاني هم كمتطوعين بيدفعوا مقابل اكلهم وشربهم وال والديودرنت اللي بيستعملوها والشامبو والشاور الحاجات كل حاجه بتخصهم هم اللي بيدفعوا ثمنها التلت الاخير اه التلت الاخير الرعاه الرسميين في ناس مؤمنه جدا بالفكر بتاعهم وباهدافهم فهي اللي بتصرف عليهم والحمد لله ان هم لحد دلوقتي لسه بيلاقوا حد بيمولهم لحد دلوقتي هم لسه موجودين What kind of development you can do it in that floating library? As as volunteers or as visitors? As organizers. As organizer. Oh, what, how can we improve? Oh, is that the question? Oh, yes. Yeah, I think we continue to have the issue of we know we come right. For example, in Egypt, after 12 years. We're coming again, so there is a lot of expectation and a lot of people, not only from Port Said, but Cairo and Alexandria, want to come and visit. And the question is, how do we deal with the amount of people that want to visit without making it a difficult time at the entrance? All the, the long lines and the waiting time, I think that is one point that, that we really need to think about and brainstorm how can we make better. أكتر حاجة بتفرق معاهم المدخل والدخول وإزاي بيستقبلوا الناس وهم طالعين على المركب، إزاي ينظموا الدنيا وما يبقاش في مشاكل في الدخول والخروج من المركب. Did you see that crowd of people in any force like uh, like here in Fort Said? To be, to be honest, yes. Actually, one year ago we were in West Africa, in Sierra Leone, in Ghana, and in Liberia. And it was really crowded as well. And people pushing, really wanting to go in, and us trying to say, please, sorry, be patient, be patient soon. غرب افريقيا كان زينا ويمكن اكثر، كان الناس بتتدافع جداً للدخول وهم كانوا تعبانين جدا في ان هم يحاولوا يفهموهم ان لا المفروض نصبر والمفروض ندخل بهداوه عشان ما فيش حد يتاذى. اوكي، وات ار ذا ميجرمنتس اور ذا بريكوشنز يو دو فور ذا فيزيتورز فروم ذا انترنس تو ذا اكسس؟ Well, we do have a Thank God here in Egypt, in Port Said, we have the support of the national police, of the authorities from the port. So every visitor that comes on board, they get checked that they have national IDs, they come through a metal detector. And inside of the vessel, we have our volunteers, we call them the marine operations crew. They are trained in case of emergency. So for example, if something was to happen, if the ship would start uh, sinking, or if a fire would occur, uh, we have specific alarms and everybody has a responsibility. So we would make sure that all the visitors would be taken out of the book for safely. بالنسبه لبره المركب في بيساعدنا بره رجال الشرطه والمنظمات المختلفه والهيئات زي هيئه المينا او المنطقه الاقتصاديه بالنسبه اللي جوه في عندنا طاقم طاقم كامل للمخاطر يعني لما بيحصل مثلا لو في مركب غرقت او في لا قدر الله حريق بيكون في نظام كل واحد عارف هو المفروض هيعمل ايه ومسؤول عن ايه وبيعمله بخصوص ان كل واحد هيخرج من السفينه بامان during you are volunteering on On the board, uh, did you find that it's possible for mixing cultures together? Yes, for sure. I think that is one of the the biggest learning processes. Uh, me as an Ecuadorian have different ways to do as a South Korean, but living together, working together, and having this 
maybe these differences in the way that we communicate, it has really made me grow as a person. Because now I understand that, okay, maybe the things that I communicate or the way that I do it, it answers to, okay, the country that I come from, the family that I was born into, but that does not mean that that's the only way of communicating because my South Korean friend, he was born in another country, in another family and with a different way of communicating. So definitely it's, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to be together with a German, a South Korean, a person from Zambia, an Argentinian, all together, eating together and living together. But we have definitely learned how to do it. طبعا اول يوم هو دخل فيه المكان اكيد مختلف عن دلوقتي لانه قابل كذا جنسيه وكذا بني ادم مختلف بطباع مختلفه وتقاليد مختلفه حتى عادات الاكل مختلفه كل واحد جاي من مكان ومن اسره مختلفه بافكار بداوا يتحاوروا هم كلهم مع بعض لحد ما بيوصلوا لنقطه وسط ما بينهم وده ما كانش سهل لكن حصل هاو ماني بوكس اور مور ان ذا لايبرري The number that we manage is around 5,000 different titles. What about the titles? Oh, well, actually, it's 5,000 titles, like different titles, but in quantity, because we have a, the lower deck, we have kind of the warehouse or the, the, storing, the storing room. It's up to 600,000 books. لان غير اللي موجود دلوقتي في المكتبه في كمان تحت مخزن حاطين فيه اكسترا جورينج 2022 ام وات اباوت يور سيلز هاو ماني سيلز ديد يو هاف ات ذا تير 2022 ذات از ا جود كويشن اي دونت نو ذا نمبر اوف بوكس اي دو نو ذا نمبر اوف فيزيتورز وي هاد اب تو 2080 2080 Oh, my tongue. In 2022, we received 280,000 visitors. We spent time in West Africa, we came to Europe, we got to visit Libya, then we came back to Europe and we finished the year in Lebanon. So the first port in which we are open is here Egypt. And uh, how many Egyptian visitors till now? Until now, the first three open days in total, we have received 18 Why Logos Help didn't, it's not allowed to enter Musrata port? Actually, that's a very good question because it kind of raised the concern in social media about our intentions, about our desires, but we really thank God that Benghazi invited us and we were very grateful because in Benghazi we received 35,000 visitors only in one week. So we, we understand that sometimes people get concerned and they have their doubts, but that's why we invite everyone to come and see that it is our priority to respect and honor any cultural differences or, or ideas that they might have. And yeah, just to invite them and see that we are people of peace, that all we want to is share knowledge, help and hope, and to have friendships with the locals that we get to know. كلموا كتير عن نواياهم بالنسبه للكتب اللي بيعرضوها لكن في نفس الوقت ده بنغازي استضافتهم واخدوا 35000 زائر خلال اسبوع وده وضح قد ايه ان هم نويتهم وهدفهم هو نشر السلام وازاي يعملوا صداقات مع الناس اللي حواليهم وما كانش في اي مشكله هم بي عندهم ما عندهمش مشكله ان هم يستقبلوا اي حد يجي باي وقت كل واحد دي افكاره ولي اراءه وهم ما عندهمش اي توجه الى مجال معين اشهر متبرعين يس ذا فيبس سبونسر for Logos Hope. The people's response? The sponsor. Oh, the famous sponsor. Well, our company is run by GBA Ships because Logos Hope belongs to GBA Ships which stands for Good Books for All. And I mean, they're not our sponsors. They kind of own the ship. Yeah, and it's really, I wouldn't honestly say who's our main sponsor because every port that we go to, we have different sponsors. Our main sponsor here in Port Said is New Plan Development. They have helped us with tickets, with banners, with invitations. Uh, they have helped us with, with communication as well. It's been really, really a blessing. هي بالنسبه لهم هي جي بي اي شيبس ديت هي المفروض المسؤوله عنهم عموما هم كل بورت بيروحوا كل مينا بيروحوا بيكون لهم رعاه خاصين بيهم يعني مثال في في مصر هنا نيو بلان ديفلوبمنت هي المسؤوله عن التذاكر عن البانلز اللي بتتحط وكل حاجه مخصوصه منها هي المسؤوله عنها بابا بندكت ذا سكس هي دونيت دي نوت هيز لايبرري تو ذا شيب 
or not? No, I mean, that's the Pope that just passed away, right? Oh, well, oh, oh yeah. yeah. I wonder. No, uh -huh. but no, I have been here for three years, and in my three years on board, we've never received a donation <laughs> from, <laughs> from the Vatican or any Pope. Yeah.